Hi, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will look at LCD, which stands for Liquid Crystal Display. We will learn on how to use it step by step using MicroPython language. I have here an LCD with two rows by 16 columns for a total of 32 characters with an I2C LCD driver from Gorilla Cell module, this one. This module uses an I2C serial communication interface to minimize pin requirements from 16 pins, which are this one, down to 4 pins, which results to simplified wiring connection. It has 4 pins, namely, Ground for the ground pins, BCC for the supply voltage, SDA for the I2C serial data, and SCL for the serial clock of the I2C communication protocol. For this experiment, we will also be needing of ESP32 development board which I already attached at the top of Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield. A DuPont female to female jumper wires. And of course, the 16x2 LCD module itself. Now let me assemble our demo circuit. First, attach the DuPont jumper wires to the LCD module according to the color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the BCC, yellow for the SDA, and white for the SCL. I will attach it. Next, attach the other end of the DuPont to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the DuPont wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, yellow to yellow, and etc. For this experiment, I choose the I2C pins on GPIO21 for the SDA and GPIO22 for the SCL pin. So I will attach it on GPIO21 and 22. Next, attach the power supply of the ESP32 shield by connecting a Type-C USB cable to the ESP32 shield and make sure that the power slide switch is a slide to the on state. Next is connect the ESP32 to the computer by attaching a micro USB cable to the ESP32. Our demo circuit is now ready. Now for the software part, we will be needing additional driver library in order to use this LCD. Thankfully, there is available LCD driver from GitHub of Dave Highlands, which is the Python LCD library. Now to start with, open the Tony Python, which I already did. And I pre already prepared two examples, which is LCD example number one and LCD example number two. But before that, let the Tony Python IDE to detect and connect to ESP32 by clicking the stop button. When you see the triple greater than sign here, it means that the Tony Python IDE detects the ESP32 device. Next, save the LCD driver, which is this one, which will be posted on the companion blog post for this tutorial. So this is the LCD API.py, and this is the second Python file, which is the I2C LCD.py. So to save this on the micro Python root directory, just copy, copy this one. So 
I will select all and I will copy. Go to Tony Python, click the new button, paste it here, click the file, then save us. Click MicroPython device and save it as LCD api.py next copy the i squared c lcd dot pi i will select all i will copy i will go to tony python i will create a new file i will paste it here and i will click the file menu select save as then micropython device and I will save it as I squared C LCD dot pi. Click OK. Now to verify if you successfully stored these two MicroPython file, click the view menu, select files, and as you can see, there is the two files you just save to MicroPython device. So I will close it again. And we can close this one also if you want to. But I will leave it open. Now for example number one, we will explore the basic functionality you can do with this LCD. So let's dive in by running the LCD example number one and let's continue by using the REPL. To print a string to the LCD, you can use the LCD that put str. And let's say, hello world. Hit enter. And hello world string is displayed on the LCD. This LCD is the the name or the object you use in this declaration now to clear the display we can use lcd dot clear open and close parenthesis hit enter and the lcd is now cleared and to exactly position the cursor location use the move to function let's say lcd dot move to underscore 2 the first value on the move to function is x value let's say on the third column which is number 2 because the counting here is 0 and this one is 15 or 0 1 2 3 up to 15 and the second value is the y value or the lines which is 0 or 1 Let's say on the second line, hit enter. And let's print again the hello world, which is this one. And as you can see, the string that is printed on the LCD is now on the second line, which is this one, 0, 1, the second value. And on the third column, which is this, this is 0. 1, 2, or 1, 2, 3. Else, if you do not set the cursor position, the character will be displayed in the default cursor position starting from 0x and 0y location, which is the top left-hand side of the LCD, which is this one. There are other useful functions we can use in using the LCD. We can show the cursor by using lcd dot show underscore cursor open and close parenthesis hit enter and the cursor is displayed after the d letter or we can hide it again by using lcd dot hide cursor hit enter and the cursor 
is hidden here after the D letter. We can also set the cursor to blink, but let me show the cursor first so that we can see the effect. So I will show again the cursor. And we will use the blink, blink, cursor, underscore, on. I will send it. And you may notice that this uh, cursor will blink after this one. Okay. We can also turn it off by sending a blink cursor of command like this we can also hide the current displayed characters by using lcd dot display off this will only hide the current displayed characters and be able to display it again by sending lcd that display on and as you can see the display is again on the LCD we can also turn off the backlight which is as you can see there is a light at the back of the LCD here so we can turn it off by sending LCD that backlight underscore off open and close Hit enter as you can see the backlight is turned off but the display is still visible but it is difficult to read so we can turn it on again by sending lcd that backlight on hit enter okay and lastly, we can display a custom character. This LCD can store up to 8 characters on its CGRAM or Character Generator Read Access Memory. There is a tutorial in the GitHub of Dave Highlands we can follow here at the bottom part. Let me copy this one, these two lines, copy and paste it here in the repo I will hit enter basically the first line which is this one creates the custom character of a happy face while the second line which is this one stores the happy face custom characters on, on the location 0 of the CGRAM of the LCD now to display it, let me copy this another line of code, copy, and paste it in the Tony Python. I will send it. And as you can see, here, after the hello world, there is a happy paste, which basically access the location of the CGRAM and print the value stored on it. In this case, the happy face custom character. Now for example number two, which is this one, let me first click the stop button to stop the currently running code, which is the LCD example number one. And Let's click the run current script button to run the LCD example number 2. Which basically creates a display of the counter. Which is this one, as you can see, it just prints the counter, then the current count. Here in this location, we also use the serial print, which basically prints the current count value to the serial. And for the LCD part, we first clear the LCD, clear all the 
display value in the LCD, which also sets the current cursor position to top left hand side of the LCD. Then we print the counter string, which is this one, and space, then the value of the current count. The open and close bracket is used as a placeholder for this function. So basically, the value of count is put on this open and close parenthesis. After that, we increment the count, the count variable. Then, we delay for 1000 milliseconds or 1 second before printing the next count value. So, that's it. I hope you learned something from this. And if you have any question, please do write a message on the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details about this video. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!